The following contains spoilers for seasons four and five of Game of Thrones. Previously on the Game of Thrones Honest Trailer. Uh, where are my dragons? Ah! Beams. From the network whose content you love, thanks to someone else's HBO Go password, comes two more seasons of the show that used violence and beefs to trick non-nerds into liking fantasy. Game of Thrones. Time for Honest Trailers. Game of Thrones. <laughs> How is the song so good? Return to TV's most expensive looking renaissance fair, where the grounded realism of the first three seasons has slowly given way to crazy heavy metal album art. Return to the bandwagon show that everyone loves now, even though it constantly makes you want to kill yourself, as they keep introducing new and exciting characters to root for, then finds new and exciting ways to kill them off. It's like The Walking Dead if they still had any balls. King Justin Bieber is finally gone. Now, a new smirking little sh** will take his place as the fictional character you most want dead. And since this worked so well when I said it last time, God, if he doesn't die this season, I'm gonna f***ing kill him myself. He's like Invincible Joffrey, piece of sh**. But it's not just the a-holes that are left alive. All the unforgettable heroes who made it through the first three seasons are back. Plus all those side characters whose names you're still trying to remember. Martell. Tyrells. I sell. Plus a bunch of new people. Plus even the swords have names now. They say the best swords have names. Oathkeeper. Widow's well, I like that. Mine's Needle. Man, even the inanimate objects have names. Speaking of which, we all remember Jon Snow, right? Catch up with the man who still knows nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Watch as his wisdom, bravery, and honor finally gets rewarded in the typical Game of Thrones way. <coughs> <coughs> but he's not the only fan favorite that the show will probably mark for death just to spite us. Tyrion Lannister returns, and Peter Dinklage takes his acting to new heights in speeches that won him an Emmy. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. And some speeches they definitely left off as Emmy reel. <coughs> then there's Daenerys Targaryen. She's got an army, ships, a good friend, and some dragons. Now it's finally time for her to stay where she is? I will not sail for Westeros. Seriously? I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. Great. Again, can we just fast forward to that part? Witness a show that was already full of disturbing stuff double down on its own brutality. Featuring skinning people alive, eating people alive, burning children alive while their parents watch, forced sex between siblings next to the corpse of their dead son, and being sexually assaulted by the bastard of the man who killed your family while the castrated slave who killed your friends is forced to watch. Jeez, where do they go from here? You know what? Don't answer that. So get ready for another three seasons of must-see television, full of amazing battles, shocking twists, and stuff you just kind of sit through and wait to be over. <coughs> Dorn! <coughs> because sooner or later, you know you're gonna get some beams. Oh. Shame. I don't want to see these boobs. These boobs are too wrapped up in character development. This used to be fun. Well, at least the boobs can't get worse than this, right? Oh, ah, I was so wrong. Oh, my eyes, they burn. Go to starring, go to starring. Starring, cruelty. Animal cruelty. Slaps. Nods. Eye rolls. Littlefinger's accent. I suppose all of our ancestors came from somewhere else. Littlefinger's other accent. You're right. 
He wasn't involved in Joffy's death. Dogs. Birds. Stannis brooding in a dark room. Shay being called a whore. She's the whore I told you about. She was a whore. You're a whore! I was his whore. I can't be in love with a whore. His whore. I can't have children with a whore. I am a whore. And the Lannister family's drinking problem. You already drank yourself across the narrow sea. Drink more than you used to. Yes. There are faster ways to kill yourself. Father disowned me today. Can I drink myself to death on the road to Marine? Clash of Clans. TV fans think they know as much as the book fans because they're all caught up now? <laughs> so adorable. Tell me about the Andal Invasion, Dance of Dragons, and all five Blackfire Rebellions. Then we'll talk. The Dance of Dragons. Why is that a dance? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies. Need a shoulder to cry on after each brutal episode of Game of Thrones? Then join Honest Trailers writer Spencer Gilbert and the rest of House Screen Junkies every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific for Watching Thrones as we break down the most recent episode of Game of Thrones live. You can watch our recap of the first episode of Season 6, The Red Woman, and recaps of all five previous seasons for free right now by clicking the box or going to ScreenJunkies.com. So check it out now, or we'll send the mountain to find you. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter was too bitter, so Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. Ha! The fate of the entire world can wait until tomorrow. They like to get the landmarks. Good night, sweet prince. This is what it sounds like when doves cry.